What's up you beautiful fuckers aka young Ura gain now today I'll be talking about my personal crucible experience everybody experience is different Everybody's difficulty level of difficulty and pain tolerance is different. So this is gonna be my personal story I know I wore this short before uh, My other videos, but I'm gonna wear it again in this video because I feel like it Anyways, let's cut to the chase and let's talk about the crucible So as I know the crucible is basically like a two like a 54 hour exercise or something like that. Fuck, man, I forgot. It's been such a long time. But it's, it's like a three-day exercise, and you get like eight hours of sleep total and three meals during that time, okay? And you're gonna be hiking like 54 miles in the span of like three days, okay? And during those three days, I might split the story up into two two videos, but let's name this as part one for now, okay? So, so you're gonna go from MCRD San Diego, or I, I went to San Diego, so this is, this is gonna be the San Diego experience, okay? I don't know about Paris Island, so. You're from MCRD San Diego, you're gonna drive down to Pendleton, okay, the recruit site, and then you're gonna bring all your gear to the Crucible barracks, okay, and that's the barracks where the devil pups used to stay at, also. And you're gonna stay in there, and you're gonna stay in there and get everything all set up, and after you get everything set up, I think it was the next day, you're gonna start your journey to become a United States Marine. So you're gonna get all your gear outside and packed up. And you're gonna hike, right? You're gonna put on that gear. And you're gonna start hiking to the, um, I guess, the Q huts, or whatever place you sleep at for the crucible during that period of time during the crucible. Okay, and it's like a three mile hike. It's it's fast as shit. So make sure you keep up, because I know that's the part that kind of drained me for the rest of the time during the crucible because. When you finish the hike, you're tired as shit, all right, it's three miles, and you take a break, right? And the next day, you're going to the crucible. But keep in mind, you only have three MREs on you. The chow is constant. You want to save that chow, right? You're going to be hungry the next morning. But for, for what I did, you know, I just had to push through it. You know, I couldn't, I wanted to save my food, and I had small MREs. I had, like, the freaking ratatouille one. It, it tastes good, but in my opinion, like... It was shit. Same thing with the pork patty ones. Those are just small MREs that I really just didn't like. And when I grabbed them, you know, the drones started just rushing us. So I just hurried up and grabbed them and left. I didn't even take a look at the menu. Uh, so if you're lucky, you know, maybe you can eat some food. Because there's some MREs that are bigger than other MREs. So I got the small MREs, so I had to make sure I spared, uh, ate those sparingly. So, once the Crucible started, you're going to go to different stations. You're going to hike to different stations, okay? You're gonna hide to different stations, and they're gonna they're gonna read you the Medal of Honor recipients, and you're gonna stand in a position of attention, and you're gonna kind of do the exercise that mimics what the Medal of Honor recipients did, so to uh, train you guys to work together and to put you guys under a lot of stress. That way, in a real combat situation, you guys are able to work together. Okay, in my opinion, like it, it's somewhat effective because the drone starters all they do is fuck with you and do a bunch of skull drags. So skull drags basically meaning you're your Kevlar, you're like on the lowest to the ground as possible. So your Kevlar is touching the ground and you're just dragging your skull across the ground with your rifle and all that gear. And if they're not sad, the drone starters are not satisfied enough, they're going to tell you to go back and do it again. It, it, it seems funny and everything. It is funny in retrospect. It is funny. You know, thinking back, thinking back at it is funny as hell. But during it, it sucked. It sucked really bad. Like, I just wanted to, like, just said, fuck this bullshit. This is stupid, you know? But you still got to keep doing it. And you're going to do the exercises, all right, which is consists of, like, obstacle courses. Bring this injured personnel or injured recruit to another destination. Like, they, they're going to pick this heaviest, pick the heaviest recruit, and they're going to tell you to race another recruit to to the destination or and, and whatnot, okay? And you'll be tired. You'll be crawling in mud. Uh, what else? Like a lot of these stories that you guys ask me, like you kind of have to go through it yourself to actually exp to actually know what I'm talking about. Because honestly, I can't really give you a better answer other than than a suck and the details of it. But I'll try my best. So bear with me here, because it's it's been like three years since I went to the went to the crucible, so I don't really remember a lot. And you're gonna hike a lot. So if you're in San Diego, you're gonna be hiking through a lot of hills, a lot of hills. All right. Okay, so you're gonna do a bunch of exercises, right? And keep in mind, you're already tired as shit. You only have three MREs. And during the sleep, like, it was hard for me to sleep because my feet were so blistered up. I couldn't sleep. I had to just keep applying moleskin 
And during the sleeping time, you know, they tell you to go on fire watch. I think fire watch is in like 30 minutes and you're going to be refilling the waters uh, of the, the water tanks that they have and bringing them back to your place that you're sleeping. Okay, so that's that's sleep. So I didn't really get much sleep. They say eight hours, but I, I, realistically, I only got four hours of sleep during this whole period of three days. Um, and by the time the reaper came, I already just, everybody was already dead fucking tired, okay? I just want to tell you guys, my boots were broken, okay? But guess what? Suck it up. I had to suck it up, okay? And my, my feet were blistered to shit. Like, it was fucking bad. Like, I had blisters that were bleeding, okay? But one tip that I can give you guys is wear two pairs of stocks over the other one, okay? That's just my tip, okay? I don't know if that is a good idea because you don't give your feet much air. But for me, that uh, helped my blisters just a little bit and put more skin on it. However, my boots are broken, and I honestly, at the time, at the time, I literally, I literally, I felt like I couldn't do it. I literally felt like I couldn't do it. You know, it wasn't that I didn't, it wasn't that I, I wanted to quit. Um, it was more like, I didn't know if I could do it physically, you know, in terms of science, okay? But, I fell out in the beginning, in the first part of the hike. So, they, they do stop in, this, in, in the, in, uh, like halfway there. So, they, I fell out the first part. But then the second part, I, I, I caught up to them, obviously. But the second part, I didn't fall out because my whole body just went numb. So if you guys are in a lot of pain, like, trust me, I was in a lot of pain. But honestly, like, you'd be surprised at how, how much your body can take, how much your body can uh, pull through as long as your mind says, fuck it, I'm going to do it. You know, I'm going to freaking do it. That, I was so determined to become a United States Marine, even... Me knowing that I was going to be a reservist, but knowing the shit that I went through just to become a United States Marine reservist, I wasn't going to give this up. You know, I was going to take a lot of pride in that. I'm almost freaking there. I'm going to do it. I still have a reaper to climb and I'm going to do it. I don't give a crap what anybody says. I'm going to freaking do this shit. I'm going to go home, United States Marine. I'm almost there. So I didn't fall out the second part of the hike. So we started hiking again and we hit the base of the reaper. Luckily, I didn't. I didn't know that we were hitting the base of the Reaper. So when they started to say, all right, all right, let's go keep hiking, you know? They just started they just started to tell us to keep hiking. So I was like, man, holy shit, like, how am I gonna climb the Reaper? You know, this this freaking hill is killing me already. So I reached the top, like to the bottom of the hill where you're supposed to, the last part, the last hill, okay? The last hill that you're gonna climb. Um, and you become Marines. So when I reached that part, I was like, fuck, like. We're stopping, but I don't know how, how am I going to climb the rest of the Reaper, man. I'm tired of shit already. And I didn't, and this fucking hill destroyed me. And I was lucky because I didn't realize that I was already climbing the Reaper. You know, stupid, right? But I was just that fucking dead. But I was just doing it, you know? I was doing it and I climbed the freaking Reaper and I reached the base of the hill, okay? And the drone centers are like, you know, motivating the recruits. Come on, you're almost there, you're almost there. Go get it, whatever, blah, blah. Hurry the hell up. This is when the drone instructors are actually like really motivating you. Like the first time in your recruit recruit boot camp career where they're actually saying, you're going to fucking make it. You're going to make it. You're almost there. Don't give up. Come on. You know, it's it's a really, in my opinion, it's a really emotional and powerful moment, you know. So when they reach the base of uh, Reaper or that last part of the hill, they tell us to war cry. War cry up that hill, okay. They tell us to war cry up the hill. And I booked it like i freaking booked it when i was dead i booked it and i war cry up that freaking hill me and my buddies were like we're gonna fucking do this we're gonna make it you know we're about to make it we're gonna become freaking united states marines we grabbed each other we're not gonna grab each other but we we motivated each other and we we're like all right fucking war cry up there and we war cried our freaking lungs out and once i stepped on that piece of ground on top of the freaking reaper you know it's early freaking morning it's sunset and i'm like i made it I freaking made it. It tells the form of my platoons and finally call us United States Marine for the first time in our lives. Okay. And I was, it was emotional. Was like, I didn't cry, but I don't know what some people did, but I was, for me, I was like, give me that shit. Give me that EGA, man. I'm fucking done. I got my fucking Marine title. I'm done. Give me the fuck out of here. About fucking time. Nah, I wasn't like that. My mind, I kind of was thinking like that though, <laughs> but, um, it the form of, and then the hike back sucked. Okay. The hike back to the freaking barracks sucked. Okay. And they eat your warrior's breakfast. Okay. Anyways, that's that's all for part one. 
kick the camera a little bit right there. Part one, part two is coming soon. That's gonna be about the Warriors breakfast, about the details of what you go through after you become a Marine and after the Crucible and more about during the Crucible, okay? So if y'all liked the video, by the way, more vlogs coming soon. Glad y'all like them, by the way. I have to say that all the time because I really thank you guys. But anyways, go check them out, right? Go check out my vlog. It's called Live It Up Vlogs in the link in the description below, okay? If you're new here, go check them out now. Still waiting. All right, cool. Anyways, if you liked the video, thumbs up. Y'all didn't. Thumbs down. I don't give a fuck. Stay sharp. Be safe. And remember, complete this kill. Thanks for watching. Oorah.